I received an email and it reminded me of a student I had a long time ago. So I thought I should reply to this email because I think I can help this person. It's a simple question which might help you. The person's name is Phil. He's from Canada. And the topic is integrals, transition from Calc 1 to Calc 2. So this should help you if you are planning on taking Calculus 2. For most of you that don't know, Calculus 2 is considered to be the hardest calculus class in the sequence. And he's asking about something that makes it hard. Good day. I hope this email finds you well. My name is Philippe. I am a second year engineering student at, and he mentions the university, which I'll leave out, in Canada. I am currently starting my Calculus 2 course after a difficult first year. I initially struggled with Calc 1, but was able to get it together on my second attempt. Now integrals were something that I found harder than other things, and arriving into Calc 2, integrals are feeling a bit overwhelming, having not practiced them during the summer. I come seeking your advice and recommendations on, on what I should do to quickly get back into doing integrals better. Now I do know the classic go practice, but I generally don't know where to begin with practice. Thank you, Phil H. So I have all kinds of comments to make on this because I have all kinds of advice. And if you have any advice, leave a comment in the comment section below. So first, let me say for integration, you want to start with the basics, like basic integrals. So use substitution, basic stuff like that. You're asking about where to practice, where to go practice. You have a couple choices. You can just go on YouTube and find playlists. I have playlists on my channel here and they're organized by topic. However, you're not going to know like which playlist to do first, which one to do second, which one to do third. You can easily pick up your book and start doing problems from your book and just go in order, right? Just do the odd problems because those have answers. However, in your case, I think because you've struggled with integrals before, you're gonna need more guidance than a book will provide, okay? This is just my honest advice. You, you really need more help. And I think the best route would be to take a course, like an online course. I actually do have courses. I have courses on Calc 1, Calc 2. So I'd recommend two courses that I have. One. Well, I think you should get all of them, but one, uh, my Calc 2 course is pretty good because that has everything in Calc 2 that you'll need and more. It probably has topics that you won't even cover in your class. And it's in order and there's assignments. Two, my course on integration insanity. It's basically a course that just has videos, no assignments, but it has them all organized and thereby subsections. So it's like basic integrals, use substitution, integrals with you know trig functions, and there's, I'm pretty sure there's hundreds of videos. So just go through each one of those videos and make sure you can do every single integral. If you do that, you will succeed. And I say this because I had this student once. Uh, what was his name? Wow, I forgot his name, but I probably shouldn't say his name in the video anyways. But this guy was, oh, I remember his name, but I can't say it. This guy was a legend. He, uh, he was incredible. The whole class looked up to this guy because he was so good. He was in my, in my Calc 1 class. And then when he took Calc 2, he had another teacher. And I saw him in the hallway one day. And I said, hey, how you doing, man? How's, how, how are things? And he says, oh, Calc 2, I, I don't know what to do. I'm having a hard time. And I looked at him. I was like, oh, you, 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 know, you're, you know who you are, right? You have a rep. You have to maintain your reputation. People look up to you. You're like the math guru. You know, if you fail, everyone else is going to be like, you know, if you can't do it, nobody can do it because everyone looks up to you. I mean, this guy was super good at math, but he was having a hard time in another teacher's class with integrals. And I just told him, you just go practice, like, like Philippe said. And I saw him a few weeks later, asked him how he was doing, and he said he got a, an A on his integration test. And I said, what did you do? How, how, did you, how did you get an A? You said you were struggling. What did you do? Because you know, you're a person who is really good at math and you were struggling and you seemed stressed last time I talked to you. So what did you do? What was the secret? For you to getting better at integration. And he looked at me and he said, I did 500 integrals. <laughs> so I don't know if he really did. He's like, he's, I did like 500 integrals. Like 500? He's like, yeah. Uh, and I'll never forget the guy. His name is written in my notes. Um, legendary student. And this guy just worked really hard. So I think if you take that course, the integration insanity course, and do all of those integrals, you're going to become a monster. You will become unstoppable. And I think integration, especially the integration in Calculus 2, a lot of it is pattern recognition. It's about, it's about recognizing patterns. And I say that because 
I had a student say that once. I was teaching a class once, and this guy raised his hand, and he says, oh, so it's really about just recognizing the patterns and when to use what technique. And I'm like, yeah, I never thought about that. And here I am, the teacher. I should be teaching this to my students, but sometimes it takes someone else to tell you something obvious for you to get it. You know, even though it's an obvious thing, yeah, duh, pattern recognition is key for integration, but it is. And you recognize those patterns simply by doing lots of problems. And the thing is, with a lot of the integration techniques, there's rules, but the rules don't always work. For example, with U substitution, you want to use a U a substitution. Usually U is your inside function. Usually, but not always, right? Not always. Most of the time, it's like your inside function. So like if you have the square root of something, usually a good attempt is to let U be whatever's inside the square root. If you have like something being raised to a power, usually whatever that something that's being raised to a power is, that inside function is a good bet. If you have something inside a trig function, usually whatever's inside the trig function is a good choice for U substitution. Then you have integration by parts, you have tabular integration, you have partial fraction decomposition, you have those integrals that lead to inverse trig functions, and then you have trigonometric substitution, you're probably not there yet, if you are, Good luck, Philippe. <laughs> that's like the, that's the longest thing you learn in Calc 2, right? That's, you'll look back at the end of your semester and you'll say, what was really long in Calc 2? Oh, trigonometric substitution. You know, you'll look back on that. But yeah, I think, I think that particular integration insanity course will help you. Um, it's just a course where I put together a bunch of videos and I organize them and it's just all integration. They're all organized by type. Uh, that can help you. There's no assignments in that one, but just try to do the problems before I work them out in the videos. And then I do have um, a Calc 2 course as well. And I have a Calc 1 uh, course as well and Calc 3 and Algebra and all that stuff. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, they're actually on Udemy, but use the links through my website, mathsorcerer.com. But I think that's the best advice I can give you is, is use the course because obviously you already have a book and you already said, now I do know the classic, go practice, but I genuinely don't know where to begin with practice. You could do that if you want to do it for free. I, I have playlists or uh, playlist. And I think playlists are a good way because at least they're organized by topics. You can go through the playlist, work out all 50 integrals or 100 integrals in the playlist, and, and you'll get better. Um, it takes time. It takes a lot of effort. I, I know your struggle, Philippe. I've had a lot of students. I've taught a lot of Calc 2 classes, and I've, I've seen people struggle. I've seen it. I have seen the struggle. The struggle is real. Even in Calc 1, when people get to use substitution, even when they figure out how to make that initial substitution following through the process, it, it just takes, uh, it takes a lot of work. I used to have this teacher, uh, amazing teacher, he passed away, and he used to say, well, this is a pen, but I'll make the analogy. Sometimes you just gotta get the pencil moving. He would give that advice for proof writing. Just you know, start writing stuff down. Sometimes when you write stuff down, uh, there's something about just starting. And, and that feeling where you don't know what to write, that feeling where you don't know what to do, that's that lost feeling, which I'm sure you have and we've all experienced. Once you, once you get through that feeling, once you write something down, that's when the understanding begins. So just try to get the pencil moving, watch some videos, find a playlist or get a course, and hopefully you can do better in your Calculus 2 journey. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. You're asking for help. You're already motivated. You're ready to start. So go do it. If you are not a subscriber to this channel and you feel like this content added some value to your life, consider hitting that subscribe button if you want. Uh, and until next time, good luck. And if you have any advice, leave a comment for him. This is a very recent email. Good luck. Keep doing mathematics.